हेलो एंड वेलकम बैक ऑन माय यूट्यूब चैनल पार्थ दोषी लर्निंग बाय डूइंग सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी इंट्रोडक्शन टू अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक एंड वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट्स इन यूआई पार्क इट इज गोइंग टू बी अबाउट टेस्ट मैनेजर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी हाउ टेस्ट मैनेजर लुक्स लाइक हाउ यू कैन कनेक्ट योर यू आई स्टूडियो टू टेस्ट मैनेजर वॉट आर दी बेनिफिट ऑफ टेस्ट मैनेजर एंड सम मोर वेरी गुड फीचर्स रिगार्डिंग द टेस्ट मैनेजर टू ऑटोमेट योर टेस्टिंग during automation so let's get started now the playlist that you see this was the one that i created in july and after that i uploaded some videos to it which is about creating test cases in ui path studio how you can generate your test data understanding and creating a test case from a workflow so there are ui path workflows that we develop how can you directly convert it into a test case and end to end ui path workflow test automation regarding the test queues as well now this was something which was related to studio to building test cases so if you have doubts or you would like to explore that particular part you can check out this five videos which are there and they are pretty much in detail so it will be very easy for you to understand now in this video we are going to see the test manager so first you need to go to your ui path cloud platform cloud.uipath.com it is here you will find test manager if you do not find you might need to go to admin you might need to go to tenants tenant settings and here you might need to enable the test manager if you cannot see it already but if you can then yes you have to directly just go to the test manager now if you see here one project is which i have already created learning test manager but you can create a new project so we are going to see this first particular step that is creating a new project so here you can enter the name like i have entered learning test manager here i am going to write just test manager yep and a prefix so you need to give a three letters prefix to your particular project that you are creating so i'm going to give it as ui path test manager so i think this should be enough any description that if you want to add you can add and i'm going to click on create now if you see a project has six of this following things the very first is the dashboard that you can see then there is a requirements section then there is a test cases which you will be publishing and linking through ui path studio over here the test sets if you want to create any or if you want to link any the test results and the project setting so test results is basically whatever you execute from your ui path orchestrator that is the platform from where you will execute your test cases or schedule your test cases to be executed and that is what we will be seeing over here in test results now coming to the project settings parts you can integrate your different platforms azure devops jira server jira cloud service now webhook xray server xray cloud and there is something called as custom field definition as well where you can create and there are this little advanced topics which we will also understand in future videos and there are this connections that you can create this is also what we'll see in some of the advanced videos of ui path test manager but i hope the very first glimpse of test manager is now clear to you and the six elements that we have in a project while creating it in test manager now how are we going to link the test manager to our ui path studio so for that first of all your orchestrator should be connected to your ui path studio that is what we can see over here now we are go going to copy this particular url so you have to copy this much let me go to test manager so it will look pretty much easy and yeah so now if you see over here you have to copy the url only till this part till test manager underscore you need to copy it in ui path studio you will find a test manager settings over here you need to click on that i'm going to remove this url because this was the other one that i was using i'm going to the paste i'm going to paste the one that i found right now and i'm going to click on connect now your test manager can definitely have multiple projects that is the reason we have this prefix over here now right now the prefix that i gave was u tm so if you see the project name test manager is outside the brackets at the very start and in the brackets is our prefix so we access all the projects that we have created using the prefix now i'm going to just click on enter and i'm going to click on okay 
so now my that particular my this particular project is linked to my studio and i'm going to use it in this project now what we need is testing activities that are available in ui path dot testing dot activities now i'm not going to create a test case because this is like an introduction to test manager and then integrating the test cases or test automation is what we are going to see later in the other parts of this videos like this is going to be the sixth one so we'll be seeing that in the seventh and eighth video but right now i'm just going to show if you publish your test cases how it looks like so i'm just going to click on right click and i'm going to click on add and sequence i'm going to name it as tc 01 login i'm not going to build any workflow this is just we are understanding so i'm going to click this i'm going to right click and convert to test case and now if you see it is converted to test case if i ignore it from publish it will be a grayish color if i click on set as publishable it will be like this now here is an option to link to test manager i'm going to click on this new test case name requirement as of now nothing requirement if created over here so let's do one thing let's try this create a requirement and i'm going to name it as login creds have the valid login credentials stored in uipath orchestrator is what i'm going to write labels i'm just going to write login and i'm going to create so now if you see a one requirement is created over here have the lo login valid login credential so now the requirements can be regarding multiple test cases as well but for one of my test case one of the requirement is having this now let's cancel this link to test manager and what do we see over is utm if you see over one so to execute this particular test case this is the requirement so it will be very easy for someone to understand that what is the requirement for this particular test case to be executed so i'm just going to click on ok over here and now it is linked to test manager so how can i validate if it is linked to my test manager or not so for that i'm going to come over here and if you see it is created over here utm2 tcs login test manager and yeah let me click on this now since we have not executed there is nothing written over here so this is basically an overview automation for this test case available studio project unlink and manual steps if you want to add more any documents details this project has no custom files defined we have seen in project settings if we want any files or not so this is how and this particular test case can be created and linked so now if i go to my orchestrator i'll find it there as well now creating a test case and its structure and all is explained in this second and third video so you can you know easily check that out and a case okay, so i'm going to go to uh testing okay so now if you want to see it in orchestrator you need to go over here click on publish test cases if you see test manager sets orchestrator publish now this does not publish your complete project but it only publishes the test cases that you have developed let me refresh this and if you see a few seconds ago i have a login test case published over here and you can run from here now definitely it is going to be you know no output is going to be there since there is no validation or something like that okay so maybe my robot is not created over here i might have to do that but now let's go to dashboard and let me refresh this and let me try to cancel this okay cancel now if you see we executed one right now on 20th march 
zero pass zero failed one no result so it gives the count of the no result as well so this is also something that your ui part test manager dashboard can show to you that how many passed how many fails and if there are any no results then how many test cases had no results so right now it is zero zero uh it is hundred hundred right and the status that you see is cancelled so things that you do in ui path orchestrator are visible over here so i think that's it for this particular video of introduction to test manager i hope you understood how to create a project in test manager what are the six important aspects or elements of ui path test manager and importance of like a brief importance of each of them how to create a test case in ui path studio linking ui path studio and your test manager and executing it from the orchestrator in the future videos we'll try to build more advanced use cases on the acme website i believe or if there's any other website that i find to build the test cases we will be doing that so i hope you found this video helpful and please do watch the other videos of test automation if you haven't already and subscribe to my youtube channel to stay updated to all the new videos that i upload thank you thank you for watching the complete video